Who in Goa hasn't seen that striking bronze statue of a tall man with a lady tumbling down at his feet? The statue was erected at the important city square next to the Adil Shah Palace way back in the year 1945 to pay homage to a long forgotten Goan celebrity who was famous in the world of science in the beginning of the 19th century. His name is José Custódio de Faria. He was popularly known as Abad Faria in the Portuguese speaking world. Stories about Abad Faria and his parents are now part of the Goan heirloom. Streets have been named after him in a few cities of Europe and at home schools and public squares take his name. But how many of us know about the man and his contribution? His personal life was a crucible of suffering. It was only after his death that his pioneering work came to be acknowledged. Doesn't it behove us to honor the man who despite the odds he faced throughout the 63 years of his life finally had his name written in letters of gold in the annals of history? Let us then look at three episodes among many others in Abad Faria's life that call for three resounding cheers. The first is that he grew up under very unusual and trying circumstances yet came out a champion born Joseph Custódio de Faria in the year 1756 his parents Caetano Vitorino de Faria who hailed from Colvale and Rosa Maria de Souza from Candoli separated canonically within 10 years of marriage thereafter The husband took holy orders in the then seminary of Shorau and the wife joined Santa Monica, Asia's largest nunnery, as a lay sister of the White Veil. And the three were never together again as a family. In such a situation, Zecustodio came across as an oddity. He must have had a lot of explaining to do wherever he went. How was it in those days to be raised by a single parent? This aspect of Goa's forgotten celebrity hasn't received attention from historians and psychologists. At 15, José Custódio traveled with his dad to Lisbon en route to Rome. Priestly studies awaited him at the Pontifical Urban University, and both father and son secured doctorates in the Eternal City. You can see that the young man left no stone unturned in his solitary yet creative life the second reason to celebrate abad faria is that he sailed uncharted seas after 8 years with his nativist father who was considered the patriarch and patron of the goan community in lisbon faria junior searched for greener pastures in france His arrival there coincided with the political turmoil of the revolution when royalists and clergy alike had a raw deal. He bided his time until the year 1792. Then he placed himself at the head of a revolutionary battalion and marched against the National Convention. The five-member directory that had seized power ended the reign of terror. They also relaxed the measures that had been instituted against exiled priests and monarchists. Abad Faria thus had the curious distinction of being the one and only Goan participant in the French Revolution. By now, the Goan cleric was Abbé Faria to everyone there. Abbé is French for priest or abbot, except that in Portuguese he was wrongly called Abad, abbot. which he was not as if making up for that mistranslation the father's clarion call to his son in konkani was properly captured by bystanders he sogri baji katorri baji straw heads all chop them off and that was how a concerned father rescued his preacher son or struck in the pulpit before the queen and the nobility gathered in the royal chapel at keluj Portugal There is no hard evidence to support that claim However the senior Faria's alleged cry has long been part of the Goan lore I have a hunch that this set the ball rolling for an unprecedented career then awaiting the junior Faria 
that legendary transformation brought about by half a dozen suggestive words uttered by a devoted father must have rung in the son's ears for a long time to come it may be facile to connect that episode to the theory of hypnotism by suggestion that abad faria pioneered but here it goes nonetheless after a stint as professor of philosophy in the port city of marseille the abbe finally settled down in paris he died here but not before expounding his theory of hypnotism that rejected the austrian franz anton mesmer's theory of animal magnetism faria put hypnotism on a sound footing coining the term sommeil lucide lucid sleep he dwelt on it at length in his magnum opus titled de la cause du sommeil lucide ou etude de la nature de l'homme that is on the cause of lucid sleep or study of the nature of man which was published posthumously and it is a pity that the remaining three volumes never saw the light of day abad faria made a seminal contribution to the field of science hypnosis soon became a vital aid to physiology and medicine and is still so to psychiatry psychoanalysis and surgery no doubt the discoverer was initially derided by doctors writers and pastors but the scientist came out victorious today he is universally regarded as the father of modern hypnotism three cheers then to the greatest untrained goan scientist of all times on his 200th death anniversary that falls on friday 20th september 2019